There's certainly a lot of circumstances and scenarios that we may prepare for and organizations prepare for, preparing for natural disasters, a flood, a fire, um, uh, you know, active shoot or things like this. But have we really taken the time to prepare for maybe an interview going sideways? Yeah, I think sometimes we, especially experienced investigators, uh, rely on their skills and they wing it and they're not prepared for those types of things that happen. I think having the contingency plan in place with whether it's your HR partner or operations or whoever your decision maker is, you know, what happens if I interview somebody and they get up and leave? What are we going to do? If somebody refuses to provide information, do we have any, any type of uh, way to counter that? Do we have any information? Do we have a policy or procedure we can hold them accountable to? You know, what if a person says, I want my attorney, I want my mom, I want, what is the guidelines the company provides? So we're prepared for that before it happens. Absolutely. And even thinking outside of the interview, what, what about the fallout of a really an interview that's gone really bad and the litigation that might come along with an investigative interview? Yeah, and we get you know, asked these questions all the time, whether it's from you know, one of our partners or, or a law firm asking for a review of training standards or when's the last time somebody went through a training program? What type of follow-up training did they have? Do you have any records of uh, monitoring or measuring or critiquing this person's performance over the years and all too often that request comes in when it's too late right the problems already had so I think being prepared for those situations and knowing you know, we've got a program in place that if something goes goes sour we did something to try to prevent it did our due diligence first yeah and without even a, a program having some standard in place that everyone could say we know what to do we're prepared for this and again, not just preparing for the natural disasters, but let's prepare for things that could go wrong in that interview room as well. Yeah, probably the highest risk conversations you can have from an employer-employee relationship. Yeah. Thanks again for watching, and please share information with us on how you prepare for the unexpected so we can share that information with the rest of our team. Thank you.